All right, everybody. So I want to take you to yet another phenomena in this Hallelujah Scriptures grift saga that we're trying to solve and we're trying to get to the bottom of it. And I want to take note here of a couple of things here. The first 3396 Panther Road, Vinland, New Jersey, 08361. Right. So we, we have this right now. I need to run to another screen. So as we try to work through this grift, there's something that what we're looking at right here. This is 3396 Panther Road. And um, when we look at the pictures of this and we actually click on the pictures of it, we see a nice house. Right. I want to see, you know, we know this house is owned by how the scriptures incorporated. Right, so I'm just trying to get us familiar with what this house is. Look at that. It's Y33. Is that not a sign from Yah right there? Is that not a sign from God that we are onto something right here? Look at this. Y33. So we have a 33 in this uh, hoax. So anyway, we take a look at this. And we go down and, um, you know, just for the record, I want to take a look at this bookcase right here with the hallelujah scriptures on there in this house and the Jewish prayer shawl as well as another Jewish prayer shawl right here which had me wondering at some point what who are we dealing with right so let's go to the next thing now this is more to their entire grift let's take a look at this this was sent out today and sent to me by Several people. Many people are involved in this. Many, many people want to have the land that belongs to the people who've donated put away. And an interesting fact and something I, I think that we should take note of is um, I had a friend of ours we were talking to tonight who we told about this. And she had donated $1,200. And she thought she had checked homeless and checked orphans and things of this nature. Um, and there's another gal that had also donated that we talked to in a, in a telegram group. And she had check the box, you know, the same thing. And so everybody thought they were donating to the homeless and to the orphans and things of that nature. And it's, it's sad that people would set up a con like this, but let's look at this and see if we can figure this out. And this is how they have it, right? And this is, um, this is incredible. A huge hallow you praise to the most high. You shall have a perfect and right weight, a perfect and right measure so that they prolong your days on the land, which Yahuwah Elohim is giving you. For all who do these and all who do unrighteously are an abomination to your Elohim. And so this is this is really sick, the stuff that they're quoting, because these guys are very good with their scriptures. Very, very good with their scriptures. And um, I they believe Satan is as well. So this is um this is what they're saying, right? They're they're spinning this huge thing that Bibles are going off all over across the world, that everybody's getting these Bibles, that they're delivering them. And they do deliver Bibles to those who pay. But if you donate to them, that goes into their pockets and it buys real estate. So let's read what they have to say. We want to share our hearts and also the move and the new and new large warehouse. The amount of work being done within the project is incredible. The orders have doubled, then tripled, and families and also other postal agents in the U.S. are working around the clock to fulfill orders. The families that have taken over the main warehouse work so very hard, even through the night until dawn as the workload is very heavy. But hey, consider it an honor to work for the Father and His Word. We now have the containers coming in regularly, but two arriving this month. We will be working on pallets to send out around the world and also working on sending pallets of the Spanish translation. Please pray we reach even more with free copies. Guys, that's the whole gig, right? Free copies, free copies, free copies. And I will tell you tonight that I got another contact from people who have been what I call courier mules of the Hallelujah Scriptures. And there's a lot of stuff going on. I was delivered a tremendous amount of information. It validates everything that I've been saying. This has been going on since 2012, at least. And this has been orchestrated. This has been planned. And I believe these people believe that, that our Creator has given them the opportunity to become rich off the back of this. But let's continue on and, and let's find the uh, the hook here. We have seven working very hard at New Warehouse now, and the project needs this many as the workload is considerable. 
it's not so much the workload. It is the amount of donations that you're having to deal with. And they're having to embezzle money back over to New Zealand. And so all the accounts that we've seen so far is that pe there's just there's an enormous amount of money. And they have to load up cards, credit cards, and gift cards. And somehow those make it back over to New Zealand where the two top people of the grift are at. So anyway, they're, they're very illiterate. You can tell how they, they, they say stuff, right? We have seven working very hard at the new warehouse. Should be like, we, we have seven people working very hard at the new warehouse. But anyway, um, let's continue on. Our prisoners' orders have increased as well as many orders for free copies. Hallelujah. When assessing the images, please avoid judging and applying understanding as the, as the men before have taken a Nazarite vow before the Most High. I maybe that's true. I don't believe anything they say. I don't believe there's a girl, three girls that have taken vows of celibacy or anything of the sort. Now let's get to the hook on this. Enjoy the pictures of the packing in New Jersey and shifting along with the new warehouse with families working hard. Hallelujah. Right. And they're bringing this stuff out because as I'm exposing this and as we're going down this rabbit hole, they're getting a lot of heat and people need to stop donating immediately until these people become accountable for why do they have a house in their name? Why are they not? Sh why do we have endless accounts of people not receiving free scriptures? All of this kind of stuff. Now, this is something that I think you guys will appreciate. So bear with me here. And there's actually quite a few of them. But if you look at this house right here, I'll be darned if that doesn't look like the house that they owned. And what's interesting here, let's keep looking at this house. What is interesting here are for these fellas that have taken the Nazarite vow that they blank out and blur every face. I'm sure there's some good people in this whole thing. But they definitely keep all of their identities completely tucked away. Now, this is, um, this is what I wanted to show you right here. So we see pictures right here, right? Again, I want to focus on this house. I want to focus on the side of this house. And then more important, look at this picture. But look at the house behind them, right? Look at the house behind them. Now let's look again. So where have we seen this house? Where have we seen this picture? right here right there's a lot of questions to be asked especially there's another email they sent out where they grifted at least four thousand and possibly eight thousand dollars that people had to throw in because they said they got robbed making a move but they were making a move from their own house so who did the robbing where did this come from why are they moving out of their house and why is their house for sell, why is this for sell for $400,000? So these are very good questions that should all be answered. So we'll leave it at this and we will let you guys come up with your conclusions. But these guys, if they want to be a reputable company at this point, then they need to come cling and they need to offer up to the people who have spent their lives monies trying to help others that are in need just to have a sham run on these guys, right? This is, this is amazing to get this, to, 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 we are discussing that people who know the laws, statutes, and commands of our creator have actually run a grift on top of this. So the word of our creator is not to be sold. It's to be told. It's not what we need to do. We don't need to hide this. Why would we hide the light under the table? Why are these people moving out of their own house that they own? You know, we're searching massive amounts of data right now and massive amounts of collections. And we're going to get to the bottom of this. But somebody needs to be accountable for this. Where are the orphanages, supposedly? They put out a video today from like three years ago. 
where are the people they are helping now? Where's all the videos of them? We see all the pictures where people are look like they're not even happy holding Bibles. Who are these people? We know that Bibles do get shipped. That is part of this grift. They would have to keep Bibles coming. So these people have intentionally throttled the word of our creator and done what they said they weren't going to do. And then they will never give anybody free Bibles. It is the sickest thing you can ever do. It's the sickest thing you can ever see. But where is the accountability? And what about all these people that hang out with them? You know, where are the the the, the Nissans? And, and the, you know, there, there's a lot of people that hang out with these people that are in on this grift. The What about the land? The land grift, where they're trying to get people to pay $35,000 for a little spot in a house, right? There's enormous amount they're doubling down on their grifts they were good in 2012 the very first shipment that they ever ended up with everything changed they decided they got greedy they spent fifty thousand dollars on their original order and generated over one hundred and fifty thousand dollars all of a sudden they saw that this was a cash cow and now if they're really doing containers multiple containers a month they are really rocking the house they have a lot of money so people just need to understand that if you are buying a hallelujah scriptures hardbound book you're not just you're not helping the orphans you're not helping the widows there may be isolated incidents but overall where their mission says that we're helping this and it's all free that is a lie as far as them saying being that never being a 501c3 that is a lie. We have witness testimony, multiple witness testimony saying that. And right now they are a nonprofit. They are not a 501c3, but they're a 50 something else. But we're tracking it down. We're getting to the bottom of it. And they've left trails of crumbs everywhere. And so we're dealing with an enormous amount of money, an enormous amount of time, and a grift that has gotten better throughout time to where there's enough money they're able to flip properties. We have to understand this and we have to come to the truth. Guys, there is a free download at the bottom of this video. It is the absolute word of our most high. It is the uh, Torah. It is the entire scriptures. It is restored named Hebrew scriptures. It is, the, it is what these people were hoarding for the last 10 years and you had to pay them cash to get it. And it's absolutely free. It's at the bottom of this and it is a great read. It's a great for every collection. I would stick it on your phone. When you guys are bored, read the Torah. Read the scriptures, read the Bible, see what our creator has for you. Thank you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day or night. I'm out.